Some people do try to out yell him, and this fool just keeps getting louder through the whole movie. There's, some lines are not even lines anymore, they're just screams. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are lying, bro. No. I think he's like, gonna say something. No. Like, oh. Ah! Go way up here. Yeah. And then drop down, and then go back yeah. up again. Hey, Billy, he did say something. He's pretty much upstaging uh, George Hamilton because he just he's loving his role. That's not him acting. That's him just having a good time. That's like a mother when they had a party at a concert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Is she kicking in? Ah! <laughs> <laughs>— Hamilton, he plays two roles in this movie, yes. which earned him a Golden Globe nomination back in the day, next to Dudley Moore, Alan Alda, Steve Martin, Walter Matthau. Uh, some of these people are dead. Some of these people you probably don't even know because you're so young out there. Ask your mama about them. Ask your grandmama about them. But it, apparently this was a, a bigger deal back in the day than I thought. I thought it was just a critically hated movie that flopped. But not only did some people like the movie, but it was somewhat of a cult classic it turned out to be. Uh, like I said, I never saw it. And the thing with this movie is you can't really find it anywhere. Oh, me. I know. I had to, yeah, uh, Ryan Walters had hooked me up with it on an internet archive. Yeah, yeah man. Hmm. Uh, now, the thing with this movie here is that, let me see if I can find what I need here with this. The thing with Zorro the Gay Blade, even though it has all this cultural relevance I told you about, and this little history that's going on behind it, uh, it's still somewhat of a traditional Zorro movie. You know, minus the gay part, of course. Um, so this is uh, the story. Now, if you know Zorro, you know Zorro is he's sort of a he's sort of a Mexican Batman in a way. <laughs> You know, uh, Chicano Batman. Yeah, Chicano <laughs> Batman. You know, Don Diego is the Mexican uh, Bruce Wayne, minus all the daddy issues and the angst and all that right, kind of right, stuff. Right. He's like, shit, I like my life. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a playboy man. You know, he he loves his life. He's going around having sex with everybody's wives and everything. But he's also about the people. He goes out to protect his town against the tyranny of El Capitan Esteban. That's Captain Esteban in English. Is that what that is? That is, man. I knew, oh, you, were, okay. I knew you wouldn't rest tonight man. unless you knew. Okay, good, yeah. good. I was going to break out my Google Translate, but you, you saved me the trouble. Don't do it. I got you, man. All, all right, right. right. I'm your Google Translate right now. <laughs> Get my money back on that old lingo. <laughs> oh. He's protecting the town against the tyranny of this man who will tax the citizens to death if left unchecked. And when he injures himself and cannot fight, who will take his place? None other than his extremely gay brother, Ramon. <laughs> Ramon. Of course, his name is Ramon. <laughs> Not Ramon, Ramon. Ramon. <laughs> yes. Who says, brother, I have got you in the gayest fashion possible. Oh! And George Hamilton as Yeah, hey, he told you it was gay. Yeah. <laughs> to help the helpless, two brothers. To befriend the friendless, one legend. To the feet, to the feedless, two color schemes. I thought it helps to keep them guessing. Thrill to the magnificent return of the two and only Zorro. This is, this is 1981 when this was made. And... Despite what some people would tell you about that time, there was a lot of Latino representation. A lot of it was represented by white people, <laughs> but you know, there's your man, <laughs> there's your man Tona Montana right there. Yeah, it's so funny, I think was it? the only Cuban in that movie was, uh, was Stephen Bauer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, everybody else. And a lot of you, yeah, people, that was a, back in the day, uh, what they call brown face was very popular sure. at the time. and. You know, in, 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 but in, in the case of George Hamilton, see, George Hamilton, for those who don't know, and we're going to show you a little clip of him here right, uh, in a second. George, Cam George Hamilton came with his own natural brown face. <laughs> you know, because George Hamilton, who plays Zorro in this movie, 
and also Zorro's gay brother. He plays dual roles. Uh, he he was known. That was his trademark to be yep. heavily tanned. Mm -hmm. So since he came into this movie heavily tanned, he brought his own brown face with him. They had to take things to another level with him. Why doesn't my husband ever say that? Because he's not intelligent. That's orange face. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't brown face. Look, looks like they coated his asses with spicy Cheeto dust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> right? Spicy Cheeto. Uh, or nutmeg or right, something. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. You, yeah. I'm surprised you're not smearing her with like Cheetos marks right now, fingerprints. I kind of feel like they were like, they were like, all right, George, we got to put a little white makeup on. You told me that. Yeah, like, yeah, the most time you saw him, he was bronze. Yeah, bronze, bronze. And yeah. shiny. Yeah, he looking like a sexy Oompa Loompa right now. <laughs> <laughs> So this, yeah, this, this girl getting hot off the nutmeg on his hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that they, yeah, they, he, they had to again just do something else with him because he already, the man tanned so much. I don't think he, I don't think he was Latino at all. But he tanned so much he came across as one sometime. Uh, no, but they, but they were very, they were very thorough with that makeup job. Because it's it's not just orange face with him. It's orange body. How much body they did cover with that orange dust right there, man. You know, you even the bottom of his feet are orange. <laughs> 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 he looked like he'd been walking through orange juice. <laughs> Very much the theme of of of, uh, of people who have played Zorro in the, in the in the past. Because Disney had a similar thing. They had an Italian guy play Zorro back then. Oh shit. I hope I didn't lose everything. They had an Italian guy play Zorro, man. Guy Williams, mm -hmm. who was in the Disney version. They, they had a, they had, it was a TV show back then, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Was, yeah. He always had the big, the big fat guy that always put the Zorro with the Z on, yeah. on his big old stomach. Yeah. <laughs> like Paul made but, <laughs> but I'm looking at this, and they they wanted you to see. They stripped him down and rolled him through that orange dust like a churro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does look way darker yeah. there in that scene. Hell, right his, his asshole was orange by the time they were done with him, man. You know, this is uh, this is something where a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, you know, today we criticize that, that whole, you know, the, the brown face thing, as, as, as we rightfully should. You know, they, back in the day, they said, you Latinos do not make money, <laughs> even when you have to play yourselves. <laughs> so they, they would take us out of it, man. But, you know, looking at this, it's easy to get lost into the characters, man. And to kind of let it go. I mean, it's a different time period and everything. Because the movie does do a good job of setting up the character of Don Diego in the beginning. Because, like, early on, we learned that Zorro slash Don Diego, he's a home wrecking hoe. He's <laughs> 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 so getting ass, yeah, huh? He is very much the, the well, I won't say effete, but the, the, the playboy who just wants to enjoy his money and other women. Oh, yeah. Playboy's putting it nice. Mm -hmm. He's just a rich hoe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. look, he even dressed like a hoe. <laughs> look at that gigolo. Yeah. yeah, he's just like Prince most yeah. of the time. He's not Zorro. <laughs> but you said that he wants to enjoy other women, but he wants to do other people's women, too, right? No, oh, that's yeah. what he oh, wants. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It ain't fun when, it's, when he gets his own his own. He got to take your shit. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get mine. Yeah. And some of yours. Yeah. And some of yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah that's, a, that's a conquest right there, man. Uh, and, you, and, and he probably learned how to fight as well as, as well as he did because he had to not only fight off a lot of husbands, but their family too. But I could fight four men such as you. You're quite right, Don Diego. You see? That is why I brought my fine brothers! So were they all just waiting outside the whole time? <laughs> I guess you might say, like, we gonna get this. Oh, they were just kind of like, he's, he said don't come in until he get his ass whooped. Yeah. Well, well, shit, that, well that's our cue. <laughs> we also learned that Zorro is probably not as great a swordsman as he brags about or comes across. Uh, you know, it's just that the other guys just suck. Damn, were they, yeah. were, were they drinking before they got there? Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, they, they, they didn't even try this shit. It doesn't seem like everybody gets a sword, but not really training. <laughs> not, no, right. not like at he, all. Like, he probably went to some fancy boarding school where he right. took fencing classes, but the rest of them is like, well, I got this. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to swing it. Those, those fools just, they, they just got out of a bar when they got there. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, when you go ahead, you get your boys like, y'all gonna help me, right? <laughs> yeah, we got your back. I don't know how to fight. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah man, we got, we got. 
We got your back, man. Don't worry about it. What you drink? A water? <laughs> man, Holy why come y'all didn't help me? We don't yeah. know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you look like we're coming over like, <laughs> yeah. they yeah. fight, they're like, oh, well, I mean, we just kind of figured if we showed up, he would he would surrender. Yeah, <laughs> we know he's gonna be doing shit. Yeah, and <laughs> and, uh, and and Zoro at uh, this moment, Don Diego. They, I mean, these guys suck so bad. He don't even have to use his sword. He's 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 defeating them with linen from the bed. But as I am a perfect example. Oh of shit! That. <laughs> like he's setting the table. Who turned out the lights? Oh no! Move. <laughs> 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 was like, we do get. Yeah. It's like the one day wife is <laughs> the dudes. You suck, man. <laughs> one day your wife. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, because you can't fight. Yeah, because you can't fight the man. The man just put. He just put a simple bed sheet on your ass. But I am a perfect example. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Like she just watching. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, it's, listen, it's not cool that your man is in brown face. I said that already. But <laughs> damn, he uh -uh. but he is very charming and charismatic. And, and and we're talking about just George Hamilton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. He he really <laughs> dives into it and he and he makes the character fun and funny. Yeah, man. And but, you know, and the opening of it. You know, as cheesy as it is, it does capture the adventurous spirit of those old serials, yeah, man. Uh, you know, right down to, you know, fighting off the guys, several guys at once, kissing goodbye to the girl, uh, and making a daring escape out the window. Unless you look like Elvis. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he got the he got them bell bottoms. On. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like, they're gonna open up like parachutes. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, just yeah, gonna like, float like, down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he gets down. He does some Johnny Bravo moves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He jumps up. Look at he's. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I've left the building. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> said, oh shit! <laughs> this movie is one of the few times. Well, you, you hear me say about the brown face that's in here. Well, you hear me say, well, at least they tried. <laughs> you should never say that about brownface. I know. But for this right here, I will say at least they tried. Because uh -huh. when they get to some other characters, they just say, f they say, f they just go regular, they, they just go regular white people. Mm -hmm. Like his boy Paco. Paco, at last. Paco, just a regular fat white dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like his boy Paco. Like yeah. his old boy Paco. Yeah, Paco. Paco looks more Amish than he looks Mexican. Yeah, he does, yeah. yeah fat, Amish, fat Amish dude. Pretty much the whole thing with Paco. He's First of all, he's a mute, but that don't have anything to do with anything. Mostly, he's just fat. Yeah. Well, by making him mute, you don't have to worry about him butchering the accent. That's no, true. that is, boo, that is true. Yeah, in fact, that's a blessing. But, you know, Paco right here, like, Paco, that's, that's the thing with him. That's his, that, that's his character trait. Paco just fat. You know, you have, you have Zorro, who fights with a sword. Paco fights with his fat. <laughs> That, that other fat dude, like, hey man, we were the same team, man. Like, <laughs> Paco just got out of control. Paco, Paco got into a fat frenzy, man. He's like, I said, excuse me. Yeah. God damn, we ain't gonna be doing all that. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, man, oh, shit. He's like, right, we on the same side. Yeah. And because Paco was fat, of course, you know, again, it's back in the day when fat shaming, that was comedy gold. So they take every opportunity to make Paco just look stupid. You know, Paco, I don't feel too good about wearing this costume before any real acts of fitting and injustice. It's like asking for trouble. Got Paco looking like an Ewok. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is he dressed like that? Because so, they go into a costume ball. And, and, and look, man, let me just say, it wasn't Zorro's idea to dress him like that. Even uh, Zorro's like, what the doing? <laughs> Paco wants to dress like this. Oh, he says, we're asking for trouble. Yeah, Paco, yeah, Paco, yeah. Paco chose that. He Paco's said, like a little kid that chose the silliest thing to dress in. He said, you said it's a costume party. Yeah. We don't want a costume guy. Yeah. yeah. He went, uh, okay. Yeah. It, <laughs> and it's not enough, it's not enough just to have him dress like a, because it's, it's a bear costume, but it looks like a big ass goofy dog. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it's just, not, it's just not enough to have him dressed up in his stupid ass bear costume, but that's what it is. He also gets got a fall all over the place. And I think <laughs> I think in this scene, I think his ass fell off this horse for real and they just kept it because it was funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that 
that that totally felt like no, that yeah. wasn't part of the script. No, that, like, that, that was a real fall right there. The music's like, God damn it. Sick. Paco did his own stunts by accident. <laughs> he fell right on his ass. <laughs> We got this 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 actress in here. Now, again, a lot of you younger people won't know her, but it's an actress named uh, Brenda Vaccaro. Uh, she was in movies like Midnight Cowboy. She used to date uh, uh, Michael Douglas back in the day. The actress is Italian, but I'm pretty sure that she plays a Mexican in this movie. Cause does she? Yeah, because Don Diego was talking about how they how they came up back in the day together in the same village. I cannot believe it. No. Well, the little pot was promising. The full flower is a rare and wondrous dazzle. Uh -oh. oh, he gonna tear that ass up. Yeah, sure <laughs> he is. said, "Yeah." She, she, she well, already the thing is, yeah, she put the fan up, yeah, giggling and saying, "Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it done." Yeah. He's about to put a, he about to put a Z on that ass. <laughs> <laughs> you would never tell that they're from the same place by the way she talks. Now you think people are butchering accents in here, uh, Brenda Bacaro? She said, "You know what? I ain't gonna do y'all like." that, because I ain't going to try. Esteban, what the hell is going on here? Damn. She, she acts like she yelling from a window in Brooklyn or something. Yeah. Right, right, right. But she's actually doing more round terms as in, like, like as like she's, like, protesting the accent. <laughs> yeah. And she's, I mean, she was nominated for the Academy Award, so she's a great actor. Yeah, that's why she said, I ain't about to ruin yeah, my reputation trying exactly, to do bullshit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, ain't nobody taking this seriously. Um, <laughs> they even... <laughs> they, I mean, really, it, it ain't like, I, I can win an Oscar from this. No, ain't nobody right, walking right, away right, getting right. no Oscars. Maybe a Golden Globe, ain't nobody getting no Oscars from this. So she said, the hell with that. They even gave us some lines where like she, they, they gave her cholo lines. <laughs> they, they like, like, like bato and punta. And she, she said, "You can give me all the batos and puntas all you want to. I ain't putting no accent on it." Do you really think Zora's going to sacrifice his own life just to save that blonde, skinny puta? <laughs> puta, puta. <laughs> it sounds like somebody's Jewish Aunt Esther oh, talking no, shit. I like, know. Yeah. <laughs> they had a synagogue. What's going? On? See, she didn't do it because because she heard everybody's accent, especially especially George Hamilton's. Oh, now, now, granted, that's actually part of the joke. I don't know how offensive it is because. He he purposely mangles mm. the, the the Mexican accent mm -hmm. that he's supposed to have here. The pitbulls are quite happy working the land for the caballeros. The soldiers are very happy shooting the pitbulls who so say the pitbulls are not happy. I thought mm -hmm. they were talking about shooting the pit bulls. I am serious to her pit bulls. No, pimples. <laughs> pitbulls. <laughs> they shoot the pitbulls. So he, he's pretty much, I'll tell you what he's doing if you listen to him. The pitbulls are quite happy working the land for the He's actually playing around with that accent where your boy Tony Montana, who's the actor, uh, Al Pacino, Al Pacino, Al Pacino. Where, Al, where Al Pacino was being dead serious. Right, right, right. He's right, doing right. the same thing, but he's, he's having fun. Yeah, Al yeah. Pacino was serious. <laughs> I know. So <laughs> Lauren Hutton comes in, she plays a, she just plays a love interest, Charlotte. Uh, by the time they get to her, they really do say You know, the other people, they said, we ain't paying you brown. With her, they just said, man, just make a white. We ain't even, tr we are not even trying no more. It's a white chick from somewhere, from white America. Let your voices be heard, opposer, <laughs> greedy, bloodsucker. It's, this is funny. So they got this white chick who just mows it onto this Mexican village. She's though, technically the only white person there, if you don't count the brown face white uh, Mexicans there. But she goes in, she's the only white girl talking about the people, I'm the people. They said, bitch, you are from Brooklyn. <laughs> You ain't about no people yeah, here. You're, you're a rich white lady. What are, yeah. you, what are, you, what are you doing here with, with causing trouble? Yeah, and, they, <laughs> and she, Never shut up. Uh, boy, I tell you, she, she, she sticks it out, though, because she's there. But th that village, they, just, they must hate her ass because everybody just ignores her. She's there fighting for their freedom. <laughs> and they don't want to hear shit she got to say. This is your revolution. Your independence. They like, bitch, get out for you yeah, gentrify yeah. this place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> go, go back to Williamsburg. <laughs> yeah. And fix that gap in your yeah, teeth. Yeah. <laughs> What, whatever, whatever brown paint that they saved, that they didn't put on some of these actors over here, what was that? Whatever was left in that bucket, they, 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 just, they just threw it on this actor in here who plays El Capitan, El Capitan Esteban. Uh, the Alcalde. The, the, yeah, what is, that, what is that? The Alcalde. So Rob Liebman, yeah. that's the actor, right? Boy, he... I didn't think you could get any darker than George Hamilton, but he did it. I do not make these laws. You know that I am from you. I am from the people. 
<laughs> oh my god, you know who Ron Liebman is too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played Rachel's dad and friends. Oh yeah, and oh, well, he, I, I mean, I'm he's just, a Jewish actor. Yeah, he's a Jewish actor. But no. I've just seen him in stuff way before this, like uh, like um, uh, Mad Magazine's Up the Academy. Oh, he was, I remember he was that. A bad guy yeah. in that. So that's the thing with him, man. He's up in. Well, he's playing. You thought George Hamilton was was man. putting himself in that role? Uh, Rob Liebman. He, he I, I, he's, he's, he's almost like he's met, method acting. Like, he, be, he became Mexican. <laughs> yeah. Nothing but uh, uh, mole and enchiladas, you know, when he was <laughs> for this role. Because underneath all that brown mud is a, is a Jewish guy, a yeah. Russian Jewish descent. Yeah. You know, and, and with him, he has, you know, he's got this crazy accent. And it's funny with this accent that he has because... His whole his whole thing with that accent is to is just to uh, kind of be loud. But you know, there are some scenes where he's actually playing it cool too. You know, there's some scenes where he's playing it laid back, and he really is cool as his character sometimes when he's just kind of chill. <laughs> see how you look how stupid they make it. That wasn't even necessary. <laughs> that wasn't. I mean, <laughs> what is, they the Paco man. They got Paco head. just dropping shit so his big ass can just pin, bend over and pick it up. <laughs> like, you ain't gotta do him like that now. Well, that's what I'm saying. come kick him like that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I was that's expecting. That's yeah, yeah horse like, or bite him on the ass. ass. Yeah. I was so expecting that. I was like, here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> you doing? That is my uh, servant, the Paco. He is a mute. He cannot speak. Oh, excellent. Perhaps he can give lessons to my wife. Yeah. Boy, he was ready with that one. <laughs> Boy, he been waiting to say that. Yeah. So if y'all couldn't hear, he said, oh, that Paco, Paco's a mute. And my y'all man speak. said, yeah, maybe you could teach my wife a few things with that. She like, yeah. yeah, they love to slam each other. Boy, yeah. I love it, man. I love it. He's like he walks around behind us waiting on setups all day. Yeah, yeah. He, oh, he was ready to drop yeah, that yeah, shit. He, he sure was. Yeah. Yeah. I got a million of them. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah, he they, brought they his book with each other. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Say something. Set me up. But he, but he jumped on that line so quick. Yeah. He was like, oh, he I've did. Pra- what I've been waiting on, shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> God oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Well, that was quick. I got some for you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but like I said, that's where he's real cool, man. But most of this movie, him doing an accent is just yelling. What are you look out? Ah! If I have enough... Will you shut the <laughs> You can't out yell him. No, you... <laughs> boy, you cannot. You, you cannot. Yell us. And I tell you, because some people do try to out yell him, and this fool just keeps getting louder through the whole movie. There's, some lines are not even lines anymore. They're just screams. Drop down and then go back <laughs> yeah. up again. Hey, Billy, he did say something. Ah! <laughs> you know, that's super grown up. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> Yeah, man. Boy, he's, and you know what? Happy to be doing it too, boy. He's having a ball. Oh, oh yeah. man, I tell you, that's the reason why. He's, he's having more fun than anybody in this movie. He is outperforming even George Hamilton. George Hamilton's kind of kicking ass at this, I hate to say, because he's just got to do an offensive role here, but <laughs> but he's out, man, he's he's pretty much upstaging uh, George Hamilton because he just, he's loving his role. That's not him acting, that's him just having a good time. That's like a mother when they had a party at a concert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Is she kicking it? <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like he's like white girls at a club or a party when yeah, their friends oh, when yeah. their friends just walk in. Oh, it's perfect for your button. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, girl, you made it. <laughs> you know somebody here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, people. Yeah, he's he screaming. He's screaming and hollering. He's screaming and hollering to the whole. The whole movie. The whole movie, man. Yeah. Shit. Better back you, dad. Grass is his ass, man. Set your ass down. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Get that. Get that fool some gummies. Man. <laughs> If anybody needs to settle their ass down, it's him. Man. He can do it with some dad grass because dad grass, one hundred percent organic. Organic pre-rolled cigarillos or joints. You have the, you have the tinctures. You have the gummies. They got gummies now, which are very low in THC, but got, got that high CBD. Mm. That means that you can go in. It's for people like me. 
you know, bitches. No, you know. <laughs> I was going to say lightweights, no, but okay. No, yeah, let me yeah, go ahead yeah, and just... Because... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, can't, I can't handle it, man. If I... If I try to, you know, if I try to handle the heaviest stuff, I'm. <laughs> I can't do it, man. I can't do it. So, you know, I, actually, I'm kind of the opposite. I get dopey. I start mumbling. I yeah. can't talk right. Yeah. I start, you know, my head is all fuzzy. Yeah. And I'm being serious, y'all. Let me just say this: a lot of these products that I promote right here, I promote them for a reason. I choose them. I vet them. I see the things that I think people can use are as things I enjoy using myself. And dad grass is perfect for me because it really does mellow me out. But now they got the gummies. That's what I've been doing a lot of. Yeah. And they sent me some and it is nice. Yeah, man. you like them? Yeah. Yeah, I do. They got some uh, they got some good flavors with the gummies, man. All uh, them great flavors. All them great. All oh, Martin. Let me tell you what they got over here. I don't, I, they got blackberry, <laughs> hibiscus. <laughs> you almost lost your look just then. <laughs> hibiscus. No, they got. They have blackberry ginger, good time hibiscus Ooh. lime, and nighttime midnight berry, which is what I had. It's very good. Dang, they do have all the best flavors. They, man, it's. I'm telling you, man. It's nice nice and tangy and feel good man feel good i mean it, and it's one of those things where because sometimes i'll take a gummy and it, i'll take it because i want to go to sleep yeah, yeah. and he's just got me just feeling nice just very nice cool just put me really i'm just sitting up here just rubbing myself and then you know i just it's good it's very nice they have the the, the cbd dog bones so you and your dog can sit up there and look crazy together. <laughs> no, no, no. no, that's not what they do. No, they make you feel <laughs> dogs sit there look crazy together. No, they doesn't do that. It's with joking. No, you and your dog can sit back and chill. Because you know you and your dog chill anyway, man. But now y'all can share the moment. And really, I'm not joking. I'm getting her, I'm getting her some because when it r starts to rain, yeah, yeah. she gets very nervous. Mm -hmm. And somebody told me, get her some CBD. So dad grass CBD for the dogs, excellent, man. Go to daggrass.com slash toasted for 20% off your first order. So I want to thank Daggrass for coming in and sponsoring this portion of the show. And I want to thank you out there, all of you out there, for your support as usual. Back to the review right here. Now, <laughs> we'll tell you that, that my man my man here, Rob Liebman, who plays the villain in here, El Capitan Esteban, he just screaming his ass off through this movie. <laughs> uh, but man, he is funny. I laughed at him the most in this movie. For one, he's unpredictable. Yes, <laughs> he's like a psychotic. He wow. really is because there's one moment that he'll play this character straight, like he'll play it in uh, the the over dramatic style of those old serials from back in the day. San Diego, the people are assembled for your inauguration. Excellency. Boy, he almost broke his neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <boy. laughs> they'll they'll play it straight, not only with the acting, but they'll they'll play it like and film it and edit it like it's an old movie from back in the day or an old serial from back in the day. Shock. The people are assembled for your inauguration. Excellency. You know, they had that music that was just yeah. like that, mm -hmm. that, 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 that crossfade, that mm -hmm. cross dissolve. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of that is what they actually do in those old movies and old serials. So I got to give the movie credit for paying attention to detail like that. They don't always keep that 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 kind of attention to t detail going. Yeah, it was good. You watch anything on Wonderful World of Disney <laughs> back in the 80s and 90s, and the old ones in the 60s. Yeah, Every, yeah. Everything crossfade like that. Every yeah, they, time. they sure did. The that so I was kind of impressed with that. But that's them that's playing cool. it straight for laughs. But then there's moments where Rob Liebman, he'll go from playing it straight like that to just doing some straight up Three Stooges shit. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> that came from Mississippi, boy. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't do nothing. I feel like I got slapped. That came out of nowhere. And I want you to and I want y'all to see something, man. He slapped his dumb ass so hard. He said his, his hat spun like a cartoon character. Ah. <laughs> oh, did you see that hat? That yeah. hat spun like three times. <laughs> he walked right off and did it too. Like, I ain't gotta worry about you. He knocked his ass in those flowers over there. He knocked his ass right in the flowers. Yeah. I don't know why this dude ain't quit his job. 
because because uh, El Capitan stays slapping his ass. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> At least that one was slow. Yeah, and he still caught it. Yeah. He, that fool had time to duck. And he still caught a bad one. <laughs> I, and you know what? The thing is, I think he was happy there. I think he was just a party and he just got caught up. Oh, he got caught up in the moment. Yeah, he just you know, got though, caught up. A couple times he was the kind of guy, though, if you duck, He's gonna get it for worse. Oh, you gonna get, yeah, you yeah, get a knee? Just, yeah. just, just get it. Just, yeah. just take that just first take leg. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. gonna get. Yeah, you gonna get. A, you gonna get whipped or something? Yeah, yeah. The duck again. It's gonna be worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this guy right here, this henchman. I wanted him to start wearing a helmet, man, because because <laughs> really. You can kind of talk about those other slaps and say, well, I, I, could, I can kind of see where they were coming from, but some other times, really, they just come out of nowhere. Sounded like a. Boop. Damn! He's like, what the hell? He got that. What the I do for He was like, you asked me. <laughs> he did nothing. Nothing wrong. This he is. gave him no bad news. He didn't disappoint him. Actually, he gave him good news. Right. He this said, one. I found out something. He drew back on that one. No. He should have did. Yeah, this was going to hurt. And he got to look like he got one more <laughs> time to hit me like this. One more goddamn time. He got to look like. I think it I, I knew he was going to do yeah, that. I, I knew I'm mad it, at man. myself. Yes. I mean, his face is just raw now. <laughs> <laughs> look at the background. Look at the background. He followed through. No, I didn't oh, follow through. He yeah, followed he through all the way. He's like, yeah, but. The way he's looking to make sure his work was good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he wanted to see that fool he's fall. Yeah. <laughs> I wish they had played up the comedy between them more. I ain't saying anything wrong. I just man, they had just they just had some funny moments. And I wish they could they could have played that up more because uh I mean they they just throughout the movie they just take turns disrespecting each other. Do you mind holding this please? Not at all. Do you mind holding this please? <laughs> she, <laughs> she didn't even flinch. Ding, boom, come out, dude. Like for real. That's what made. That's what made yeah, that scene. Yeah. The way just hit the floor. Boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> and the thing is, he, he's cool because he knew it was coming. He even thinking like, why did I even ask? Do you mind holding this, please? Not at all. Which is gracious. <laughs> he yeah, said yeah, thank you because yeah. he knew. Yeah, I bet yeah. you knew you were going to do that. Yeah, he said, well, why I mean, are you? I thought I'd give a shot. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, thank you for even acknowledging me. <laughs> yeah, man. So. <laughs> he's going to have a right in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, that'll happen yeah. soon. <laughs> Don't worry about it. In front of company. Oh, yeah. Okay. She, uh, she all up on Zoro's ass, man. But, you know, um, <laughs> so there's a, there's a moment in the movie where Don Diego as, as Zoro played by George Hamilton, where he goes in and he breaks his foot in a scene that actually seems real. <laughs> now that, that looked like a real yeah. shit. Yeah, right yeah because he dropped the accent for that. Like, yeah. shit, mother. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. He had no accent. He, he wasn't like, oh, Dills, Mills. <laughs> he was like, shit. And also the way he looked up like, I ain't wasn't that goddamn. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> All right, well. But at that moment, you know, he he falls and he and he breaks his foot, and that's when I realized, like, oh yeah, there's a gay Zorro in here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, where where the hell is he? Where's gay Zorro? It's been like it's been, it's been 40 minutes, oh, wow. 45 minutes, and ain't no gay. I ain't seen no gay blade yet at all. And, uh, you know, and at that point, he broke his foot. I was like, okay, well, I, I guess that this is the moment where he's going to show up. And, nah, nah, they don't do that. Instead, they they spend a whole lot of time doing some silly-ass uh, uh, feet jokes or foot jokes. Slappy dog, my slappy dog. Slappy dog. Jumping. Jumping. Yes, jumping. now running in place. Running in place. Now walking and running and jumping in place. Now walking and jumping and running and jumping. All right, God damn it. Okay, where, where's Gay Zorro? All right. You know, there's, there's a lot of scenes like that that is not very, they run a joke in the ground where they didn't even start off that funny. Uh, <laughs> and then there's a moment where I thought Rob Lehman, I thought, well, maybe he's the, maybe he's the gay blade because yeah. he gets awfully <laughs> gay in this movie. Now you think, well, that's just probably what they do in their culture. No, there's moments. Nah, there's where he, a lot of scenes where he's <laughs> right up in his face. She is. I mean, moments where, where he figured Don Diego can't walk. He's like, well, here's my chance. But my friend, would you be so kind as to get to your feet and walk for me? 
walk, would you? <laughs> you always do it with such manliness. I was like, oh, hey, they must. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like, man, that's the gay blade right there. <laughs> yeah, they gotta get that smoker jacket on. Yeah, yeah man, it. you can't run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it didn't seem like that. It really, yeah, it was no, weird. I mean, it was, you, it was, I mean, if you can walk, I let you go. And that's, you know, and that's a weird thing in the movie. We're not, we're not trying to like talk about it being gay just to make fun of homosexuality. No, it's just kind of like they bring up these moments and don't really explain them or follow through with them or anything with him. Oh yeah, between yeah. those two. Well, that's that's always been well, not always, but kind of a classic thing with the uh, with the psychotic villain where they always. <laughs> like kind of quasi gay, uh, yeah. yeah, a little bit effeminate, and wherever the hero is, the foil, they're all up in their grill. Yeah, the you like, what, what are you trying to do here? Well, like Javier Bardem yeah. in that, hey, perfect. In that scene yeah. with, yes. uh, with, with yeah. James Bond. Yeah, yeah. well, talk about all up in his face. He's trying to go out and get all up in his ass right now, man. This is a, uh, this is it was kind of weird in some moments, but, uh, you know, but at the, right when I'm about to give up, man, that's when the the, the gay blade finally arrives. And, and yeah, and, and, and if you are here for the gayness, then you will not be disappointed. I say, De La Wall? Oh, come, come, you remember the doll perfectly well. Blue button eyes, tall hat. We called him Colonel Puff Puff. Colonel Puff Puff? <laughs> but that that uh, they that's his brother Ramon who finally showed up. He's so gay, he's British. Right, right. <laughs> and, I mean, he comes in and people. This is back in the day. Yeah, this is back in the day when uh they. <laughs> they, they, uh, right, you know, the, right? the, a lot of a lot of jokes that are that are old, uh, you know, almost just you know, just just at this moment, it's just, it's, it's almost insulting to you if you say them because they're not funny anymore. They're so uncreative. Right. You know, this is back in the day where they were still popular. You know, he, hey, you know, he's gay, so hey, he must have been in the navy. Well, I was Ramon twenty years ago when father decided it wasn't quite masculine enough, so he shipped me off to sea in that British frigate. Well, I'm living proof they made me. Something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, dear. Oh. And all back in the day where they used to laugh at their own jokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, voice cracking and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gee, so like Julia Childs and shit. Can't wait to get <laughs> Julia Childs. No, I'm saying. Can't wait to get to the punchline. Yeah, it was something about back then the Navy was gay. You know, the village people had in the Navy. <laughs> yeah, you know? that's right. It's uh, a, I think it's a white uniform. <laughs> yeah. It gets to a point where it's just like, okay, now you just, you, you ain't got, you ain't got to be that goddamn gay. You was Ramon? You know Ramon Vega no more? No, no, I didn't have that Latin tradition. I'm Bunny Wigglesworth now. Oh, God oh, damn it man. now. Come on, man. Bunny Wigglesworth. <laughs> Bunny Wigglesworth. That ain't even, that's not even gay. That's just silly. <laughs> <laughs> His brother's like, no, no, stop, stop, stop playing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I may not be Ramon anymore, but what's your real name? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, stop playing. Hey, you could have called me Bunny Wigglesworth. I mean, shit, that's... I could, but that's I'm not a, gonna. That's a damn British aristocrat. It's, it's, that, a, it's a very British name. Yeah, that's, <laughs> right now, there's a straight Bunny Wigglesworth talking about. Yeah. Hey, yeah, right. I say, I take an affront to that. <laughs> I take umbrage that you taking my name in such silliness. <laughs> that, that's that's the straight British guy. You just <laughs> <say>. Yes. <laughs> I take umbrage to that affront. <laughs> well, I say, how uh, dare you? The famous. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that? You all. <laughs> I am the real Buddy Biggles one. <laughs> and I'm every bit of the madness. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, Buddy Wigglesworth, the tail. Buddy Wigglesworth, boy. It's fun watching him because he comes in to take the place of Zorro, of course, when he breaks his ankle. And so he comes in to, 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 to be Zorro. And it's, it's fun watching him. Transform into Zoro, even if you know if, if it's borderline kind of. That's uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Hell, hell, don't you fear? El Zoro is here. <laughs> but I'm afraid this costume. What they got him covered in cinnamon and sugar. Oh man, <laughs> that's the next name. It's funny. He became Zoro and became even more gay. <laughs> I say this costume. <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of clever when they did that. Yeah, no, actually, as cliche and, and stereotypical as it is, George Hamilton is having fun with, it. and he does do well playing. Even though it's stereotypes, British stereotypes, Mexican stereotypes, gay stereotypes, it's still fun to watch him. But I'm afraid this costume's not to my taste. Yeah, ain't gay enough. But he'll change that when when he becomes Zorro. He makes it his own. And boy, he be, <laughs> he plays it just like you think a gay Zorro would. Not you again. 
you to no, coming in, flamboyant, yep. giggling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like, straight up, you have not mentioned my outfit, but that's all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna work your ass. <laughs> I like the way they run. Like, he too gay for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Is that burgundy shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's plum. <laughs> burgundy is too manly. Come yeah, on, right. up. That's true. Plum. Yeah, man. <laughs> Dr- plum. I mean, he makes. I, I give it to him, man. He makes. He does make Zorro his own. He does. He. I mean, he puts a <laughs> flair to it. He could, one moment he's dressed up like a piece of fruit. Another moment he's dressed up like a like a lampshade. Remember my people. There's no shame. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the, the whip sound effects, god damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, oh, well, he's saving Zorro. Well, he cracking that whip, man. Sure. <laughs> well, I was like, god damn. He whooping that ass, <laughs> man, with that. <laughs> there are moments where the movie, for being made in 1981, I'll give it this is kind of progressive with this gay theme. Well, that's the thing, because you think, oh, man, it's going to be so offensive to gays. And right. you watch it, and you're like, no, he's not the butt of the jokes. No. And, and he's actually, Ramon, or Bunny Wigglesworth, is a better Zorro than Don Diego. He sure <laughs> is. He, yeah, he's way better. Uh, yeah, but, they, but the whole thing with the, 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 the gay theme here is that, you know, they're not making a, a bunch of, or as many stereotypical, there's some there, as many stereotypical gay jokes as I thought they would. There's actually a message here about being comfortable being yourself. And I admire you, too. Your style. You're daring, and you, you seem so much freer than most men, so comfortable with yourself. Now, for every moment that they do have a progressive gay, <laughs> I knew it, I knew a gay <laughs> baby, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't get too comfortable. Yeah, don't, don't get no, like, no, like, It was not, 1981. Yeah, let, you know, let's, <laughs> let's, not, let's, let's not praise them yet, because for every time they have something where it seems like they're doing something good with, with the gay theme, they'll turn around and do something like this. I know, we kind of go shopping together. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Or, or they'll have, you know, a scene that, that comes out of nowhere when they're referring to the, to, to the gay Zorro. They'll have a scene like this. Fire! Bring your hips. Fire! Ha-ha! Good! Now, flop! Your ribs! <laughs> so, it ain't like you said, Martin, it is 1981. Yeah. So yeah, yeah no shit, Jesus. We can go shopping together. That was lame ass. Yeah, intro. it's 1981. It could have been a lot worse. <laughs> it could have been so much worse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not giving this an excuse. I'm just saying. You know, they they didn't go as far as I thought they would. His brother's movie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was it a decade and a half later? Yeah, that yeah. Way worse. Yeah. yeah, he's a better Zorro than Zorro than Don Diego, but. My complaint for the movie would be that they don't do a whole lot with him. They, they really don't. I mean, he really is there just to set up some some gay puns, some gay jokes. <laughs> uh, they, God damn. They, they talk about him doing more stuff than they show. Right. So, you know, uh, you know, with that, I, it's cool to see Hamilton, uh, George Hamilton, play two roles. And that's kind of why it's there. It's for him to, like, you know, have fun playing two parts. <laughs> but then to get some sure right. some some gay jokes in there, some of them are cheap. Uh, and then once that's done, and you don't see too much action with him, he's out, and he's out in the in the gayest way possible. Who would ever believe that of me? Just driving into the, riding off into the dark woods, just giggling. <laughs> Out of the dark woods <laughs> at night, just like, giggling away. Yeah. Nothing bad's gonna happen to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you looking for a rest stop bathroom in a door <laughs> hole. <or something. laughs> for real. He's going out to have sex in the bushes somewhere. Who would ever believe that of me? <laughs> <laughs> you watch that like, is he gonna stop laughing? <laughs> no. No, not at all. <laughs> at all, I just too, too happy to be leaving. <laughs> All the way to the coast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way to Hollywood where he lives, right? <laughs> yeah, just giggling into the sunset. <laughs> giggling into the sunset. All flat into the white horse and all that shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I mean, it's like you said, every, every time they do something progressive, they got. <laughs> <laughs> they just hopping away, clearly dumped. Oh, uh, he kind of pulls a, a gay Han Solo <laughs> <laughs> and say it saves the day. Two bits, four bits, six bits a peso. 
Stand up and say so. You <laughs> <laughs> that giggle, yeah? <laughs> but man got the gold on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. come back, I had to come back correct. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna wear this. I'm gonna make a big oh, splash. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you talk about a pimp outfit. Yeah. yeah. It's your turn. Shit, he dressed like a golden globe right now. <laughs> he had that outfit the whole time he was there. He was yeah. like, nah, nah, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't serious enough yet. <laughs> Shit, that's what... Black backup dancers wore back in the day, <laughs> yeah, right. man. Solid gold. Solid gold. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, man, you right. Yeah. And then after he comes in and <laughs> when, Earth when he, comes, so he comes in, he, and so he's, I mean, he just lets it all out. He's hes so gay now that now that he can really let himself out, he comes in, he just starts whipping people in a gay way. Fine, silly boy. Another second you have punch bullets in your head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and talking shit the whole time. <laughs> he sure is, man. <laughs> Fine, silly boy. Another second you have punch bullets in your head. Admit it, you just lost the attention. Actually, I had this outfit and I thought to myself, where am I? I possibly wear it. I possibly wear it. I didn't even hear the thing. I didn't hear the thing. I don't all the time. I think he's talking about his clothes yeah, his brother, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 No, he, yeah, I had this outfit. I was wondering, where could I possibly wear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, wow, you, you were right. Yeah, you we were, were right. Can I possibly wear it? <laughs> but all the time. <laughs> you kind of like, ah! <laughs> Shit, my eye! <laughs> but once he saves the day, he... He leaves he, again. He, le he leaves again. <laughs> and if you thought he left in a gateway before, <laughs> this time he leaves in the gayest and goofiest way possible. Umbrella? Uh, umbrella. Oh, uh, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> a parasol you Oh, yeah. I mean, right, I don't even right. know what that is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Such a weird... Oh, oh, he's not even a horse. like he told the horse, I told you to stop doing that. <laughs> I like to make my exes. He looking like Captain Crunch right now. <laughs> he us. He looks like Captain Crunch. I don't know why. I, I, George Hamilton was so smooth and sexy in this movie, man, and so charismatic, and he saved the ugliest scene for last. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> He shut that umbrella. He almost looks like he doesn't know what he's doing. Like, yeah, I didn't tell him he's gonna move like this. Somebody in the chat said, he said, ta ta. Yeah, basically, yeah. 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 <laughs> Gay Captain Morgan. Yeah, or just Captain right. Morgan. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, uh, you know, this, needless to say, this is a silly movie and. And it's supposed to be, and those, and a lot of times those silly gags are, are funny, man. It's, I mean, it's like almost like old vaudeville it, style jokes. It really jokes. is. It's, 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 it's Mel Brooks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna say it's like Blazing Saddles or the Three Amigos. It's just, it's not on the same level of quality, but it's no. like something Mel Brooks would have directed. But he's like, I don't have time, and you guys need to polish yeah. the script a little more. I mean, it's, right. it's almost like the, the physical or visual joke equivalent of a dad joke. Sometimes it's, mm. you know, it's just, it's just so silly and stupid. You gotta laugh. Mark, oh, and so. I love it. <laughs> like, dude with an eye patch though, turn around, lifted up his eye patch. Who he has? He has one good eye, but he has a bad eye. He'd have to take the eye patch off to look at it. You know, little stupid things like that, that was make very it funny. Mel Brooks, but he just did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's, there's a there's, yeah, that, yeah, that is. That there's a whole thing with him making those Z's and people are like. So is that number two? I don't. I mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the number two. My daughter made that in school. <laughs> you know, the movies like that, man. But. You know, even though it's supposed to be silly, I will still say that it's a Zorro movie. And that's the only thing that's kind of missing from this is that, you know, you don't r really capture the spirit of Zorro throughout this movie because most of it's focused on zags. I'm on zags, zigzags. I'm taking the Z zag. <laughs> most of it's based on gags and jokes. It's like, if, you know, I wish they could have had more adventure in this in a way. Now, you know, it doesn't have to be an adventure movie, but like they, they, it'd be nice if they had put more of that in there. It did feel like every time they had that going with, with Don Diego and later with, uh, with Bunny, like they would start it <laughs> and you're like, this is this is kind of a fun adventure, and they would stop because it's like, well, now we got to move on to the second part of the plot. I was like, oh, yeah. we could have had some more of either of the Zoros. Yeah, they, I don't know if but, this movie didn't have the budget to do but, it. But you know, it's an hour and a half, and for a comedy, you don't really want it to go for right. no, than that. No, back when they used to make hour and a half comedies. Yeah, yeah, it's on the bad movie roast. It's not a great movie, but it's I wanna definitely. I want to watch it now. But <laughs> yeah, it, I want to actually see it's, it now. It's fun. It's, it is fun. I, I can see why people have fun memories of this movie. It's, it's that movie, again, where if it's on TV, man, and you see it, it's just fun to watch. Sure. It's dated. Yeah. Dated for sure. But it's, uh, 
I mean, you know, it's a product of this time, and we we know that. So I don't blame people if they got offended by it. Just don't watch it, you know. But it's a uh, oh, and really, that's that is kind of the probably the most offensive thing. Like if I was Latino, shit, I, as a as, as a as just as a person of color, I look at this and I'm just like, yeah, I'm 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 it's it's not cool, you know. This piece of this part of history wasn't cool because. You put all these people in brown face and just called them Mexicans when they didn't even put on any brown. And then, of course, they took all the real Mexicans and put them in the background. Presence, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing about it, like, with, with the, I guess what I'm guessing they didn't do in this is, like, with, like, Blazing Saddles, he's making a point with, like, the N-words yeah. and this and that. Like, but with this, with the white people, is he making a point with this? No. One, making them no. So, no. No. <laughs> no. 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 The only, the only explanation you can have is that, like, the, the rich people, Don Diego and the Alcalde and, and them, they're actually from from Spain. They're Spaniards, which is basically European. You right, right. They're sure, white. sure, sure. And they came over to old California, which was Mexico at the time. Right. So that kind got of makes it, sense it. why the Mexicans yeah. are in the background. But. but still, you know, there's no authentic... In the lead roles, there no, no, no there, there is people. not one Latin person who's authentic. All the other people play background side characters, so that's something personally I don't like. That that's the thing that makes me uncomfortable I watching this. This was the first time anybody <clears throat> played Zorro with any kind of Spanish accent. Really? Yeah. And it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, he does it as a joke. Yeah, but it's a, again, it's a fun movie, man. I had I had a good time. So yeah, you know, uh, I'm glad that you guys voted on this because I had no intentions of ever seeing this. Not not because I was offended. It just was never on my radar. Just right. thought yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, why would it be? Yeah, yeah why would I, I, I? This is a movie I just never even think about. But after having watching it, I, I had, like I said, I had a good time, and that's because of you guys. So, hey, sometimes you do know what you're talking about. About this time last week, I'd be like, they don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they joking. But yeah, that's it.